Hey everybody, welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. I'm Chad. Hey, welcome to part two of our Sobro Spirits uh, store pick. Store pick Hugh Hamers. So in our last episode, if you didn't catch it, you can go back and find that where we did the uh, apple brandy finish. Yeah. Today we're going to do the Cabernet finish. See I'm going to be interested to see. Yeah, we'll see you in just a second. So we're going to try the Cabernet finish. We've already got them poured up ready for you to go. These are from Sobro Spirits, 52nd and Keystone-ish. You know, go a little bit west of there and you'll find it. Uh, right there's the website. You'll see everything, the address, everything you need. Uh, check these guys out. If you didn't see this one, this apple brandy finish really, really has impressed me. I think after you sipped on it and got over the initial shock of the flavor, mm -hmm. you I think you enjoyed it as yeah, well. That's not bad. So today we're going to try the Cabernet. For 116 proof especially. Uh, and this one's also 116.6 proof. Okay. Um, it is a single barrel. It's their barrel. Um, they have 210 bar bottles or something. Good guessing, bud. Exclusive to Sobro Spirits. Don't take our word for it. Go yeah. down there and try it. Yeah. Ask them for a taste. They'll be happy to pour you one, I think. Hey, make sure you tell them Bourbon Battle sent you. That's very important. Yeah. Let them know that you saw it here. And let them know you want to try it before you bite. And while you're there, do yourself a favor and try that Maker's Mark Strawberry Shortcake Pick. I think that the, another thing that you could do is sign up for their email list because I get emails almost daily from them. Not just about whiskey. Wine. I get a lot of emails about wine, yeah. Tequila. Yeah. All of it. I mean, it, and just because you drink whiskey doesn't mean you don't have to like wine. or. I like wine. Right. Yeah, I know. I like tequila. Yeah. And rum. <laughs> Not vodka. Vodka sucks. In the words of the words of wisdom from Fred Minnick, vodka sucks. Who? It's this guy on YouTube. I don't watch that nonsense. You don't watch YouTube? <laughs> Not that. I never heard of him. <laughs> you just watch bourbon battles. <laughs> right. Have you smelled this yet? Uh uh. Doesn't really do you like Cabernet wine, first of all? Mm -hmm. I do as well. It's my favorite. Well, it's my second favorite, probably. My favorite is, uh, I don't know. I'm a red wine. I like red wine. I like all red. I don't like white wine. I'm, uh, oh, those are barrel finished. Bourbon barrel I'm, finished. Uh, I like uh, Syrahs. 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 No, a lot of whatever. times those are from Australia, because that's where that grape grows the best. What about New Zealand? What did I say? Australia. That's where it grows the best. Hmm. Did you know that? I got a bottle of Shiraz in there with a kangaroo. It's got boxing gloves on it. You're an idiot. <laughs> it's a fact. I mean, I like the Cab Sabs. And I like Pinot Noirs. I like Pinot Noir. If you're in the central Indiana area, you like wine, they might not be sold out. Cedar Creek's got this Pinot Noir that's finished in bourbon barrels. It's fantastic. You ever had it? No. Maybe we'll open one for you today. No. No? You can't drink and drive, bud. Just taste it and spit it out. I could. Not my wine, you won't. <laughs> you, got a, you got a tin bucket? I'll find something for you. <laughs> tin bucket. I, 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 like, I, I like it better than the apple. It, it's good. Mm -hmm. So I sat over at Sobro with, uh, I, I with. I don't. I don't like the finish as much as I do the apple, but I like the taste more than I do the apple. So I sat over it with uh, Jake and Chris and Lou. It's actually pretty. Sobro. It's actually sweet. Like, yeah. And I think we all kind of concluded that we like this one better than this one. It's totally different experiences. It, they are totally, totally different. Idea. <clears throat> well, from what I recall, this one up front was just like, whoo. Apple, bam. Oh, hopefully you got your seatbelt on, you know what I mean? And, Buckle up, you're going for a wild ride. But And so I wasn't necessarily a fan of the palate so much, but the finish on it, I liked it. Whereas this one, I like the taste a lot better than that one. But I, the finish, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I'm not a, a terrible fan of, but I think the finish on the apple's better. But you like that. 
it's not bad, man. And usually I'm not a big the biggest fan of uh, wine finished whiskey. Would it be fair to say that you're surprised how much you like it? No. Well, yeah. I didn't think you didn't think you would like a. I didn't think I'd like it at all. Honestly. That's what I mean. You're surprised right, yeah, that you yeah. actually like it. Mm-hmm. I like it quite a bit. But let's be realistic. They've been doing it a long time there, and they're not going to pick something that is just not good. They just don't do it. Well, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. That's, so you don't. You can taste the apple, right? Say like, that's not my thing, right? I don't like the sweetness of the apple. That's just not what I like. Well, and 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 also, it might not be their thing, but they can also taste it and tell you if it's good or if it's bad. And they know that their customer base will either purchase it or they won't. I was there the other day when I picked these up, and stand, you know where their little tasting counter is. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> So and people that would come in and taste these would leave with them. Isn't that the goal? Yeah, but. So I, I, I mean, I don't know that if you just saw if I just saw a Cabernet finished Q Hamer sitting on a shelf at a big box store that I would walk grab on it. by. Yeah, I wouldn't think Guaranteed. anything of it. But when you go to Sobro, you're you like, can taste it. That's that's. I'll just yeah. Let me taste a little. Nip that's of that. why you should frequent. There are a couple of liquor establishments in Central Indiana where you can go in and you can taste every store pick they have. It's a big you, deal. If you're trying to sell store picks, it's it's the biggest deal, in my opinion. And let's be honest. None of this whiskey's cheap. No. And it's only going to get more expensive in the next two or three years. Yeah. And, like, I will buy a Maker's Private Select without tasting it. But that's also because we've tasted so many of them that we know that we're probably not going to. two or gonna, three. Yeah. We're probably not going to be disappointed. I know I love them all. So it, you, it, you're not really taking a shot in the dark. And what I'm starting to learn about these Hugh Hamers, right? We've tried, I mean, you see them all up there, right? Um, I think we've liked them all for the most part, right? They're finished Hugh Hamers. Some of them aren't store picks. Yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of the honey. but You didn't like the honey at all. Not really. Did, but you liked the peach okay? Yeah, it was okay. But it was it was almost artificial peach. But it was still good. Yeah, that is... That's not artificial. It doesn't taste artificial to me. The flavor in that does not taste artificial. And if you don't like Cabernet, if you don't like dry red wine, that doesn't mean you won't like that. No, because you, this doesn't taste like dry red wine. No. It's sweet. You know, the uh, cherry brandy finish, Hugh Hamer, that we've had is excellent. Mm-hmm. Listen to that dog go crazy. I am surprised how good that is. You didn't. You didn't want to try it. I don't think. Well, I wasn't necessarily opposed to trying it, but I didn't. I just preconceived, didn't think that I would like it. Yeah. So here's the, here's the advice that I'll give you, and then we'll wrap this up. If you're in Central Indiana and you get a chance to go by Sobro, try these, both of these. Try the Elijah Craig. By the time this comes out, the Elijah Craig is most likely sold out, but that's fine. Uh, try the Strawberry Shortcake Maker's Pick, and probably in the next. Do they have? Any rebel or they have a yes, they do. They they at least have a rebel or an Ezra. <clears throat> so I saw the you know when I was there uh, one time I was there and I picked a uh, picked a, a rebel over an Ezra pick, and after I tasted them both, Lou was there and he told me he's like, which one do you like? And I told him he's like, I think you're right, but. They are pretty knowledgeable. They're well, they're they're all very knowledgeable in the picks that they have, which is, you know, that's that's important to people too. Because if you can build that relationship with the owner, then you then you're basically going off their palate. You start to trust that yeah. palate, right? It goes the guys that pick that. Yeah. So the next thing you're going to see from us is some uh, some stuff from Hard Truth, some store picks from there. That we're going to look at. So I'm looking forward to that. Maybe hopefully uh, Rebel real soon. Mm-hmm. That Rebel. I've always loved those. Yeah. I, I Honestly, I feel like most of the time I like the Ezra's better. But I've had some of the Rebels that I, I really thought were far superior to any of the Ezra's I've had. So While we're doing this, let me grab some. This is yours. This is a gift for you. Um, Thanksgiving gift. So we'll talk about it for just a second. Talk to everybody while I agree. Are you giving me the you give me the RSV, bud? Is that what you're gonna give me for Thanksgiving? Yeah. So we've got a good friend Chris over at Shafts Wood that makes these dudes right here. It's hard to see because it's wood on wood. So this is, can you read that? Yeah, it says we don't give a rat's ass. What's on the label? 
Right, an official Bourbon Battles rocks glass that goes on a coaster with a cigar. Which is perfect. Thing. That's good. That is yours from That's Chris at Shaft's Wood. Chris Shaft is a good man. Chris was supposed to be here with us today, but he had more important things to do. Well, that, he had to work yeah. or something stupid. He, he didn't have to do anything real important then, because if it was more important than this, it's not real important. Yeah, but hey, <laughs> just so just so Chris knows, you also you didn't only miss out on these, but you can go try these, Chris, at uh, Sobro. But you also missed out on the Jim Beam the Canner episode. You can't try that at Sobro. So, so Chris is a good friend of Bourbon Battles. He's a whiskey warlord with Patreon, and he makes stuff like that. And it's Christmas time. Does he have a laser? Yeah. That's laser edge. It. Yeah. That's pretty cool. He can make whatever you want, guys. So check him out. I'll put a uh, thing mm -hmm. up here to show you how to get a hold of Chris. Christmas gifts like these barrel heads. Um is that, that thing old, is, is that old piece of a stave? It's it a is. stave that yeah. he made that coaster out of. You put your cigar on there. I got that. He stained it. That's been stained. Yeah, it, it's cool. Mm -hmm. So he can make you a Bourbon Battles rocks glass. You can put your name on it. He can put whatever. The I hell guess you is want if you got the artwork, he'll make any kind of glass you want. He's the man. He make you cha chairs, Adirondack chairs, all kinds of stuff. He's a woodworking fool. We're gonna have him on the show here real soon. What else you got? I don't got much today, bud. I'm kind of tired. Go try this stuff at Sobro, but don't drink and drive. Please don't. Oh, if you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl.